uh, when television <clears throat> does news, when um, it tries to do what uh, Americans now call political debates, <clears throat> this cannot be taken seriously um, by uh, an informed public. I mean, what is a debate? Uh, we have uh, President Reagan and Vice President <clears throat> Mondale in front of the camera. <clears throat> and someone like Barbara Walters says, first question for you, Mr. President, is what do you think uh, is the solution to the problem in the Middle East? You will have two minutes to answer, after which Vice President Mondale will have 60 seconds for rebuttal. Now, who can take that seriously? If Reagan and Mondale <clears throat> ha uh, were serious men, in fact, they would turn to Miss Walters and say, what kind of men do you think we are? We're running for the highest office in the land. You can't answer a question like this in two minutes, nor can you rebut someone else's answer in 60 seconds. Or they might turn to Miss Walters and say, what kind of people do you think the American public is? That they will put up with a forum in which candidates for the presidency are asked to respond to a question like this in two minutes and or one minute. But in fact, none of that ever happens. Reagan does answer and Mondale does give his rebuttal and everyone goes on with this charade that television is informing the public. In fact, television, I would argue, is not. It's amusing the public and that this is not a, a legitimate form of political discourse, but is taken right from uh, the values of show business.